Hey baddies, welcome to another Auntie Amy's Trashy Tarot. Today I'm doing a stoned oracle reading. Uh, there is a sesh that goes along with this one. Um, it will be up probably after this one because it takes me a little bit longer to edit those. So yeah, but we're going to see what's going on with my collective. I've got all my fun decks as I call them. So um, we're going to get into it and see what's going on for you guys. What, what deck? This one, <laughs> this has become my favorite deck. This is the Mood Oracle. Highly, highly recommend. My really good friend Rosie over at the Abyss Tarot TAT, um, her channel over there, go check her out, uh, sent this one to me. And I absolutely adore this Oracle deck. It is funny and it has great insights and I love it. And I love her. She's amazing. So be sure to go check her out. I have several of her decks that she has created. She's wonderful at creating Oracle decks. Uh, and she has a tarot deck that I love too. It's, it's great. Like if you're learning tarot, oops, I had a deck that just slid off the table, y'all. Uh, um, she has a, a tarot deck. That's called, I think it's called The Seasons. And if you're new to tarot, that would be a great one to help you learn tarot. Because it has words on it that go with the cards. So anyway, let's get three of these here cards for y'all. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. So just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And yes, your auntie is highly medicated. <laughs> and I had lots of weird conversations over uh, at that, um, on that stoned oracle uh, smoke sesh. So go check it out. Go check it out. You probably have to be over 18 though to see it. So, okay. I say a lot of, I, I, there's a lot of cool conversations that happen over there. So, all right. Okay. So there's probably a weird cut in this video because there is a card that came out that I can't show you. <laughs> it's boobays. And so I can't show you this one. Um, but it's like, it says, fuck fear. Imagine your face is planted in a big old pair of todays. Now go forth in love. <laughs> I'm just going to put this one. Let me move my cards around. This one deck doesn't even want to be on the table. It's just throwing itself off the table. So that's fine. <laughs> okay. We have love. Elmira. Uh, El, Elmira. Someone today. It means admire, but I can't even mispronounce it right. So whatever. <laughs> We have decide, shit or get off the star sucks sidewalk. <laughs> oh my, fuck fear. Imagine your face is planted in a big old pair of titties. Now go forth in love. Admire someone today. Shit or get off the star sucks sidewalk. Okay, you guys, what is up with you? What, am I going to have to go get my love cards? I have some over here. Is this a love reading? <laughs> Give me some more information. Give me some more information. I almost want to pull some more mood mood cards. Not this deck. Okay. Um, let's pull some more mood cards because I feel that. And then I'm going to pull from my alien deck. Okay. Give me some more. Because this, this, this feels like love... Okay, we have be a sharing hoe. <laughs> I can't show you this card either. Be a sharing hoe. The world needs titty pics. Wow. Okay, you guys. Uh, the truth is out there, but so is chlamydia. <laughs> you guys. Someone is admiring you, okay? Someone's admiring you. Come on, Tarot. Come on. We're going to get some alien cards too. Come on. Come on, alien cards. <laughs> someone is admiring you. It feels like, or you're admiring someone. Now, I do feel with the star sucks here that it could be at work. You could be being admired at work. Um, but this, you know, it could be a friend, but I got to tell you with this love card here and all the today's, it feels like for a lot of you, this is romantic. We have Pleiadians, unconditional love, excitement, laughter. Okay. So 
obviously someone's excited. It's like they're forcing the hand with this love reading, man. <laughs> I was like, you know, it's funny because before I was, I was just like, it's not going to be a love reading. It's not going to be a love reading. <laughs> and we have MIB, Stalking, Intimidation, Confrontation. Okay. Okay. So I feel like, I don't feel this is bad. Okay. But I do feel like this person's watching you. I feel like you probably don't know this person. Okay, this is like secret admirer stuff. Secret admirer shit. That's what this is. And y'all, I feel some of you uh, roll your eyes. It's okay. Listen, if you don't want to hear it, it's okay. Just go watch my sesh. Go watch the sesh. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Okay, um, you know. Uh, but it feels like someone's watching you, someone's admiring you. Listen, some of you guys have a beautiful decolletage. Did I say that right? Decolletage. <laughs> Auntie's tongue is heavy with medication and joy. Okay. Um, some of you have just like a great chest or upper body, like you work out your upper body. I'm hearing, I'm hearing, what does that mouth do? <laughs> oh, ooh, let's get these tarot. Okay, we have the Ace of Bongs. <laughs> we have the Knight of Buds <laughs> and the Hierophant. <laughs> ooh, my. <laughs> What I'm seeing with the Hierophant is I'm seeing the Herald Duel card in my Goddess of Love deck, which is over being being charged um, for another reading. Um, and the Ace of Bongs is like the Ace of Cups. The Knight of Buds is like the Knight of Pentacles. So, um, so I feel like with the Knight of Buds in this card here, I, I feel like this person is just, you know, as far as coming forward is just real, real slow. I like to watch. I like to watch you, which I got to say is where the stalker shit comes in. Like, I like to watch you. I like to watch you interact. If you, oh, wow. Okay, so here's creep, creep factor one, creep factor one. Here we go. I like to watch you like interact with people and if you have a partner like for some of you maybe you have someone who comes picks comes and picks you up for lunch maybe you even go to lunch with this person something about lunch here they like to watch you uh they enjoy watching you from afar for some of you this is like this person's fetish eh. not all of you don't claim it if it's not yours don't claim it if it's not yours okay let me just pull from the naughty tea. I'm going to have to do this a little off camera because these can be risque. <laughs> they can be naughty, y'all. Imagine that. Oh, we have new fling, something new coming your way. But they think about it. Uh, we have marinade. Don't shower, sleep in it. Ooh. We have... Uh, okay. I can't, I can't really like show you this because of the words, but I, I can, I, you know what? I can, I can do this. I can, I can, um, I'll just, my nails are horrible, you guys, because I've, I've been sick. So, um, and I can't use fake nails right now, but there we go. There it is. Um, yeah. So someone is having happy fun time alone and thinking of you and for some of you they're trying to manifest you this way like they're doing smexy smexy magic um trying to manifest this Woo! damn <laughs> i want to say damn doris <laughs> what have you got going on? Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> I hear some of you are like, no. And here's the deal. Okay, this is creep factor two, gross out number one. Or possibly two for some of you because the other thing may have grossed you out. Um, marinate in it. They do. If you were wondering. Some of you were like, I didn't need to know that. Listen, I'm just telling you what I'm getting. Okay, and sometimes I don't want to know some of this shit, but if I'm going to get it in this reading, so are you. I don't want to know that shit. 
I don't want to know that shit. But here we go. Now we both know. Now we both know. Okay, we have window. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, you guys. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Um, okay, you guys. We have a window. I want to sneak through your window while you're sleeping and pull your panties to the side. You guys. It feels like this is a fetish or a fantasy. They uh, do their business too. Okay. And I know I feel the disturbedness for some of you. Now, I'm going to clean this up a little bit because I have a spirit here, uh, Auntie Ma. She's coming forward saying, now listen, this isn't for all of you. This is, isn't for every single one of you. All right. It's for some of you. For some of you, this is your, okay, I'm just going to let the words come out and you, you take it. This is your old man. This is your partner. Okay. And this is like their, you know. This is one of their little fantasies about you, okay? So breathe easy. If that resonates for you, if you have a freaky partner, if you're into that kind of thing, you know, or maybe they're not openly and this is something they, they fantasize about, all right? So we just want to put that out there because I don't, I don't think this fits for all of you. And I know some of you are alarmed, but for some of you, especially if you have an online platform you may have someone who's who's fetishizing you in this way okay um and you know what don't be surprised don't be surprised don't be surprised and listen it doesn't mean they're going to do it all right but you may have someone who's a little obsessed so be aware just be aware okay it doesn't mean they're going to do it but it also means you could have someone who is not creep factor 10, you know what I'm saying, who may just be trying to manifest you, but who, who has like a Dracula. I'm seeing Dracula like a vampire thing. You know, you know, in the movie Dracula or the story, you know, where Dracula comes into the, I'm getting like this whole Dracula vibe where they come into the bedroom through the window, Dracula does. And he, and he bites her in the neck kind of thing. Kind of that kind of vibe. So that's that's not bad. Um, but for some of you, it is that first like, uh, like, uh. And if that's you, then take the proper precautions, okay? Follow your gut. Protect yourself. You might throw up some fiery walls of protection, okay? You might secure yourself. You know, I'm not saying be overly, don't panic, don't panic, okay? But, you know, just be safe, be aware, all right? Um, because I feel like this is probably, for most of you, if this hits, it's probably online, which means there's probably distance. So just be aware of your online presence. Be aware. Um, and like I said over here, very, very slow, very not, not really going to approach, especially if you have a partner. I'm going to tell you, I feel some cowardice here as well. Uh, so it's like they may fantasize about this, but they're also like, ah, uh, you know, so just, just keep not cowardice with all of them, but cowardice with the action here. So, um, you know, it's not meant to panic you, all right? But I got to tell you, if this is your partner, let's talk about that. <laughs> let's get a couple for uh, the partner here, the, uh, the fantasy land situation. Lips, it's your juicy lips. I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not saying that. <laughs> but you know you know if you know you know okay uh not open right now i don't want to deal with no one yeah 
see, I feel like if this is something that they fantasize about, they are really probably not open about talking about it. So this is kind of a hidden secret for some of you. So if you want to bring this up, if if this is something that you're like, yeah, let's let's do a little sexy playtime, it's going to be on you, okay? <laughs> All right. So um, I hope this resonated. I hope it was fun. <laughs> and um, if it did, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. Um, and if you'd like to see more readings like this one, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you beautiful, magical baddies and stoners next time. Bye guys.